of uh, GeoPandas. So we'll just open up our file. Uh, so what we're going to do is that I'm going to read in. So I've installed GeoPandas and PyPlot, Fiona and Shapely, and I've also got pandas in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to load in some data related to the the, the continents and the countries of the world. And then we're going to also read in some data here for our cities. Okay, so so initially what we'll do is we'll print out, we'll, we'll plot our, the, the, the world map and also we'll, we'll add on the cities onto it. Okay, so, so let's let's just have a look at our data first, okay? So with uh, that, what we want to do is uh, we can print out our world and just run that. Okay, so, so that's the data that, that we actually have. So it's actually defining uh, the GDP for the country. So you can see here for the, the different uh, countries, uh, the, it's the continent that they're in and the GDP estimate. And then we define a polygon for each of the countries and then an ISO code. So for, the, for zero, uh, we have uh, Asia. And there's the code AFG. And AFG is Afghanistan. Okay, so in our, in our, our data here, we have Afghanistan. There's the estimated population. There's the three letter code. Uh, there's the geometric shape, it's a polygon that we're going to draw, and there's the continent that it's in, Asia, and there's the GDP. Okay, so we can also have a look at our cities, just to see what that looks like. This is just using pandas here. Okay, so for our cities, uh, there we go. So our our city there is uh, Vatican City, and there's the shape, there's the point, it's a point that we're using this time, and we have 117 cities from there. Okay, so it's Vatican City, uh, San Marino, and so on. Okay, so we have 202 cities here, and we define them as, as points. So what we're going to do is we're going to plot uh, the world and then we're going to plot the cities on top of the world. Okay, so so what we'll do is that uh, we'll just select a zero here. So this is basically just going to show us the uh, the uh, uh, the the first few lines of our world data, and then we're going to plot it, and then we're going to show it. Okay, and then what we we can do is we can actually plot it as a PNG or an SVG file here when we save our plot. So let's run it again. So that's our plot dot show. Uh, so it automatically goes into the, the PLT uh, object because we have PLT up here. And the great thing about uh, about Geo uh, Pandas is that it will just in integrate so well with the PY plot. Okay, so there's a map of a world from the the data that we actually have. So the next thing we'll do is we'll print out our cities data. So again, what we'll do is that we'll just plot here. And what this is going to do is going to plot our cities. And it's going to use a red dot with a marker size of 5. And it's going to plot the background world in white 
with a white background and then the cities on top of it. Okay, so there it's there. And then finally in the demo what we'll do is we'll just um, uh, we'll just plot in terms of the uh, GDP okay so we have uh, uh, we we use pandas to be able to filter there and then we can actually map onto that and then we'll just plot again and it's PLT. Okay, so remember it's the name that you've defined here will be your PY plot entity. And there it is there. Okay, so that's in terms of uh, GDP there. Okay, so the lighter the color, the larger the GDP. And what we're doing is that uh, we're we're dividing it by the population estimate to give some sort of uh, idea of the the GDP per head. 